Neng Da, courtesy name Ziju, was a military general of the state of Cao Wei in the early Three Kingdoms period. He previously served the warlords Lu Zhang and Lu Bei in the late Eastern Han Dynasty before defecting to Wei. In Wei, he served under the first two rulers, Cao Pai and Cao Rui. Around late 227, he started a rebellion in Wei and aimed to rejoin the Shu Han but the revolt was swiftly suppressed by the Wei general Sima Yi. Meng Da was captured and executed for treason. Service under Lu Zhang and Lu Bei Meng Da originally served Lu Zhang, the governor of Yi province. He defected to another warlord, Lu Bei, when the latter invaded Yi province in the early 210s and seized control of the province from Lu Zhang. Lu Bei sent Meng Da to guard Jiangling, and promoted him to administrator of Yidu later after settling Yi province. Meng Da's original style name was Zijing. But he changed it to Ziju to avoid naming Taboo because Zijing was also the style name of Lu Bai's uncle. In 219, Meng Da was ordered to lead a force from Ziggy to attack Fangling. After conquering Fangling, Meng Da advanced further north and captured another city, Shangyong, where he rendezvoused with Lu Fang, Lu Bai's adoptive son. Later that year, when Lu Bai's general Guan Yu was trapped by enemy forces in Jing province, Guan requested reinforcements from Lu Feng and Meng Da, but they refused. Guan Yu was eventually captured by forces of the Eastern warlord Sun Quan and was executed. Defection to Wei Meng Da was afraid that he would be punished for refusing to help Guan Yu. At the time, his relationship with Lu Feng was also strained, hence he brought 4,000 soldiers with him and defected to Lu Bai's rival Cao Pai, who gave him a warm welcome. Meng Da then wrote a letter to Lu Feng, informing the latter that he was in grave danger, because someone close to Lu Bei had spoken ill of him, and he urged Lu Feng to surrender to Wei as well. However, Lu Feng ignored Meng Da's advice and returned to Chengdu, where he was executed by his adoptive father for failing to reinforce Guan Yu and failing to stop Meng Da from defecting. Cao Pai later ended the Eastern Han Dynasty by forcing Emperor Jian to abdicate the throne to him, after which he became emperor and established the state of Cao Wei, marking the start of the Three Kingdoms period. In Wei, Meng Da received various important appointments and the title of a Marquis. Cao Pai merged the three commanderies of Fangling, Shangyong and Zicheng to form a larger commandery, Xincheng, and he appointed Meng Da as the administrator of Xincheng and tasked him with defending by southwestern border. Meng Da became close friends with the Wei officials Wan Ji and Xia Shang. In 225, Li Hong, a former Wei subject who surrendered to Shu Han, came to meet Xu's Chancellor Zhuge Liang and the Shu officials Jiang Wan and Fei Shi. Li Hong told them about Meng Da's meeting with a person called Huang Chong, who told him that Zhuge Liang urged Lu Bei to execute Meng Da's family after Meng defected to Wei, but Lu Bei refused. Meng Da also did not believe Wang Chong, rebellion and death. Zhuge Liang attempted to contact Meng Da and induce him to defect back to Shu, despite objection from Fei Shi, who remarked that Meng Da was an untrustworthy traitor. By then, the Wei Emperor Cao Pai had died and was succeeded by Cao Rui, who treated Meng Da less favorably. Meng Da's close friends Wan Ji and Xia Raoshang had also died. So Meng Da felt isolated and became increasingly disgruntled with the Wei imperial court. After some exchanging of letters between Zhuge Liang and Meng Da, the latter gradually developed animosity towards Wei and harbored the intention of starting a rebellion. In 228, Zhuge Liang launched the first of a series of northern expeditions against Wei, and he succeeded in persuading Meng Da to assist the Shu army by rebelling against Wei. However, Meng Da's rebellion plot was leaked out by Shen Yi, the administrator of Wei Xing, whom Meng Da had a feud with. The Wei general Sima Yi wrote letters to Meng Da to put the latter in a dilemma on whether to rebel or not. 
and secretly led an army from Wan to attack Mengdu's base in Xincheng. Sima Yi's forces arrived at Xincheng in just eight days and caught Meng Da completely off guard. Meng Da was betrayed by his nephew Deng Jian and subordinate Li Fu and his rebellion was swiftly suppressed. He was captured and executed by Sima Yi. In fiction, Meng Da appeared as a character in the historical novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms by Luo Guanzhong. His style name in the novel was Ziking. His role in the novel was mainly centered on the events in his rebellion, appointments and titles held. Administrator of Yidu, appointments and titles held by Meng Da after he defected to Wei, attendant of scattered cavalry, general who builds martial might, Marquis of Pingyang, administrator of Xincheng.